Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to the Geek Group. Today we've got a viewer question in about where's the ground on a neon sign transformer for the high voltage side. Well, that one's pretty easy to solve. Um, it's in the same place it is for the low voltage side. Because neon sign transformers are center tapped. That means that inside here, there's actually two transformers. So there's the primary winding in the middle, and then a high voltage secondary winding here, where one end of the winding goes to the terminal here, the other end goes to the core of the transformer and to case ground. Same thing happens over here. You have a high voltage secondary winding, where one end of it goes here, the other end goes to case ground. So for both of these, case ground, and for the low voltage side, you can see right here, um, this, this little bolt is the case ground. Now there's, on a high voltage transformer, usually there's the two high voltage terminals which will have big bushing insulators on them. And then there'll be a couple with small bushings that are right next to each other. These are the primary side, the low voltage connections. And then there'll be one, a third one off right here, which is your ground. And that one always has no bushing and just connects right to the case. So that's, that's how you can tell. Two little bushings are your low voltage, two big bushings are your high voltage, and the one with no bushing is the ground. And you can use the ground for the high and the low voltage, and you're fine. And that's the very quick, basic one of where's the ground on a neon sign transformer. So, yeah.